head coach Jeff Judkins. Coach, how would you rate High the, five. the <laughs> intramural championship T-shirt that Jerem is wearing right now? I think he should wear it proudly because it's not easy to get. That's true. There's some intramurals in BYU is awesome. I mean, I, I you hear it all the time when I go out recruiting. They, hey, what's about this intramural program? And so I think um, if you want to be a, an athlete and kind of dream that you are a sports guy, you want to play intramurals, and it's wait what? It's, it's big time. <laughs> just dream. It's dreaming. dreaming. You're dreaming that you were playing. It was reality <laughs> when I got the shirt, Coach. <laughs> no, you're, you're right. But no, but it's awesome. It's yeah, great. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It really is. I mean, my son got hurt pretty bad a couple years ago playing. He broke his thumb Whoa. playing for the championship in the basketball. Wow. And uh, he got the championship in the flag football. So That's he, a big deal at BYU. It is. He's, he's, been, he's pretty proud of it. He's, he talks about it like, of course, I went and watched him play the football. I didn't see the basketball. I was out of town at the time, but um, yeah, he's he's he enjoys doing it. So congratulations, way to pull it through. <laughs> Thank you. Spencer was on both those teams that we won with. That I was, but it was were... all it was clearly all Jerem. Meanwhile, no. you went to the Sweet 16 and did something really significant. Did you get a T-shirt for the Sweet 16? We did. did you guys we make did. We made T-shirts. Of course, of course we did. Yeah. You know, yeah. it only comes. Hopefully, next year it'll come again. But it's it, yeah, it's important. You know, you're proud of what you've accomplished, and you work hard for that. T-shirts, uh, sometimes greater than trophies, let's be honest. Uh, you had media day yesterday for women's hoops. Uh, brand new team, no Jennifer Hampson, uh, no Kim Beeston, so kind of a different group. What do you think of the team you have? Well, we, we have a lot of injuries right now, so it's hard for what? me to – Yeah, I've got some kids that have, that have got some aches and pains. And, you know, Spain was a good thing for us. I saw a lot of good things, so – we're a different team. We're not as big, and we're not as we don't go inside as as often mm. because we had we had those two great post players. But I think you'll see Morgan get a lot more shots and score in the paint. And Lexi's improved a lot with her jump shot and trying to score in different ways. You'll see more up tempo. We'll press a little bit more trap. Um, but uh, you know we have a lot of depth, and so I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm going to try to see if I can pressure people a little bit and pick on the ball. I'm kind of running a little more stuff like what San Antonio does with their bigs, where they come mm -hmm. out and pick on the ball because I have some bigs that can roll the basket and can shoot it. So a little different team and different challenges, but I, you know, I'm excited for the season. BYU women's basketball head coach Jeff Judkins on BYU Sports Nation. Your team is ranked in the top 25 of the preseason rankings according to Athlon Sports. You go to the Sweet 16, you get noticed. You get people, noticed. People remember you. Do you like having the designation of, oh, yeah, they're, they're a good basketball team. Let's put them in the top 25 when you begin a season? Uh, I think every coach says the first rankings really is what you did last year. And people, if you have people returning, then you, you get that. Um, I do like it now because it, it, it makes us realize that if we work hard and do a good job in preseason, that, that we have a good shot at getting in the NCAA tournament. And that's the whole thing is – to have a good enough RPI and have a good enough recognition through polls and yeah. through other things to help you when the when the committee makes a decision of what to do. So that part of it. But we're, we start off our first game on the road against South Dakota State, and people are going, who's South Dakota State? Yeah, why they're, are you playing a game in Brookings, South Dakota, Coach? They're a very good team. It's a good RPI. They win their conference like every, every year. Every year. They go in the NCAA tournament every year. Okay, it makes you know? sense to me now. And I so, didn't know this stuff. So, no, so that's the reason that I did it is yeah, yeah. I thought uh, it's a good opportunity for us. If we win, it's good for us. If we lose, it's not going to hurt us because of their of their RPI. That's a Mount Rushmore trip, right? It is. Is that what you call that trip? Yeah. It's going to be our trip. And you're trip. playing a basketball game? Yeah, it's going to be a tough trip. But, you know, it's – Gets us better for the season and, and, and prepares us. At they, Frost Arena. That yeah, seems appropriate. Packed. They get five, <laughs> six thousand people. It's the big wow. it's a big deal, hmm. you know. So um, that's part of it. Part of it is playing this school that we can kind of get used to playing a tough game on the road. There you go. So when we go against Gonzaga or we go against some other teams. The other thing you find out, it's hard to schedule people. People aren't now next year by us getting the sweet sixteen, we hopefully got Oklahoma. In Texas A&M. In the future, and, not and next Georgia. year, but in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because of that. You nice. know, and so that's what you hope for. Helps recruiting, helps scheduling. Uh, we do need to ask you about your, <clears throat> your international trip, excuse me, to Spain. How did that help your, your basketball team 
uh, ultimately get better. And uh, I do need to ask you about Twitter, but we'll, we'll start with Spain okay. first, and then we'll do the follow-up with Twitter. How, okay. how does Spain help Spain you? Spain was good Come because... Come coach. Uh, what? <laughs> Spain, Spain, was, Spain was good. Spain was, Spain was a great opportunity to see some players I don't get to see all the time play. I didn't play Morgan and Lexi that many. I played enough to win. You know, but I didn't play them as much as I normally would have. Spain is very good. And you probably, they took the silver medal in the women's game. So what's that telling you is that their basketball is getting a lot better, mm -hmm. kind of like the men's. So I think soccer, of course, is the king there. But sure. basketball is probably, is probably second. It's right there. There was, as we walked around, there was a lot of pictures of NBA players. and The Gasol brothers, Rudy yeah, Fernandez. Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. a lot. So. Yeah. Um, it was good, it, and I saw a lot of good things from some young kids. And um, Alohi, my, my freshman, got to play, which is a great advantage for her and Amanda to be able to get in there and do it. And they both played very, very well. Alohi, so, another dual sport athlete. Yeah, that girl's. I know. I don't know. Why I keep doing this, but <laughs> you know, girls that are athletic do a lot of things, and she is a very good athlete and probably one of the best in the at BYU. You know, I mean, she's she's a different than Jen. You know, because she's not six seven, she has to six do a lot two. of things. Yeah. Six two, but she's she's athletic and she's very smart, both in volleyball and basketball. So we'll see what happens. How do you say her name? Alohi Robbins Hardy. Yes, Alohi. Okay. Alohi. Yep. Uh, last time you came in studio was pre Spain. You're a changed man now because you joined Twitter. Yep. We 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 talked about you what you guys put so much pressure on me. Holy <laughs> cow. No, but you know what it what is. What pressure really? gets you, Connor, from us? From you guys. Yeah. No, but but what I think what it is is it's recruiting, I, you it know. Is. I mean, tell Sean Olmstead about I, I this. I mean, so many of our uh, recruits that we they follow it, you know. They've already said it to me. Hey, coach, it's nice to follow you on Twitter. On Twitter, and I'm going like, okay, Why? you know. So, yeah, what's going on here? But um, yeah, they've. I'm trying to step up in the world. Get, you know, get it. Get you know, like the players don't enjoy my music all the time, so. Now I need to probably try to see if I can do some of the things that they're doing. But it's a great tool of really of, of telling you more about what's going on with your program, and I'm trying to take advantage of that. Yeah. By the way, your first three tweets were awesome. <laughs> awesome. Let's look at them. Okay, the first one. I don't one. remember. Well, my staff convinced me to try out Twitter. It said your staff. By staff, really, you meant BYU Sports Nation, right? Sports yeah. Yeah. That, that's where you put at yeah. BYU Sports Nation. That's okay. where you put that. Okay. Excited for the trip to Spain. Hopefully these planes have some leg room. Okay? <laughs> then, then the second tweet is at BYU Sports Nation. You, you guys inspired me to get signed up finally. Keep sending me new handles. I'll, I'd consider changing. And we thought, some, we thought of some really funny Twitter handles. Okay. Third is my favorite. <laughs> All it says is, Exit row. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the hardest part of the whole trip was the travel, you know, the, the airplane. Um, coming home, I had an, I got I got an exit, so made it a little bit easier. But uh, what a great trip! You yeah. know, these young ladies are going to remember that for the rest of their lives. Seventeen tweets, four hundred fifteen followers at Coach Judkins. We need Juddy over a thousand people. Let's go at Coach Judkins. Let's do it. Let's I do it. What do we want it to be? We want it to be like Juddy McJudkins or something. Mick, Mick Judkins. I don't know, I've got to think. I've, I told my, I, I've told my team to think of, think of something for me. Try to help. This, Listen, one is, this one's good. At for Coach now. Judkins yeah. is very good. That's very vanilla. That's fantastic. Right now, we're gonna have to spice it up later. Okay, okay. you guys got to help me. <laughs> <laughs> help me out with this stuff. This is a new adventure for me. I, I worked with Coach uh, Steve Cleveland to get him on Twitter, and he did a really good job at pointing out stuff all the time. Granted, he was an analyst, kind of a different role. Yeah. People love pictures. People oh, they love do. Random, okay. random hashtags. That's where you go, like pound, whatever. Okay, we'll do her. Try and use hashtag blessed at least once okay. a day. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll try. With Jeff Judkins, BYU free advice. Advice. Next time women's be. basketball coach, former NBA player with us on BYU Sports Nation. You've talked about uh, Lexi Eaton. She's clearly one of your leaders, one of mm -hmm. your top scorers. And then Morgan Bailey, uh, is, you're going to rely heavily on her in the post. Who's the player? that nobody's talking about that's going to play a, a crucial role that maybe we should all be talking about? Um, I think there's there's two players. And uh, I think one will be Alohi. I think she's got the talent to come in and really help us out. Okay. And probably the second one is Mackenzie Morrison. She's kind of a combo guard right now. And, uh, you know, Kylie is solid and so – Mackenzie's going to back her up a little bit, and um, having three years being here, she kind of knows she's playing really well right now. Played very well in Spain, with a lot of confidence. She's a feisty, 
um, can shoot it, can get to the basket kind of player. Um, Do you see McKenzie being uh, kind of a, a Kim Beeston, great three point shooter? She's a very time? good shooter. Yeah. She really, she's probably right now. I'd say her and Lexi are my two best shooters and four. Those are the th- that can shoot. But McKenzie's been really consistent that way. She was that way in Spain, and right now, and uh, we had our first practice yesterday. She's she's doing that. Broadhead is a freshman, redshirt freshman, and you're gonna like her because she's kind of a crafty type player you know she she a great passer so those three um i think are they, they're the ones in spain that i think surprised a lot of us okay um but this team is very deep and uh there's a lot of good players that can come in and do whatever they need to do for our team and you know if bailey plays like she played in spain she was the best player uh she had a lot of spain teams that want her to come and play for them next really? year nice. oh yeah yeah, they really like what she did, and so, um, but we got to stay healthy. That's the whole key. I've got a couple of girls that are sick and got some injuries. We're just kind of watching it, and being careful with it. The first exhibition game for women's hoops, November first against Westminster. Uh, lots of BYU TV games this year. Spencer Linton, the play-by-play on that. We should ask you about this. Boom Shakalaka is coming up October seventeenth. Yes. yes. This would be an opportunity. I don't know what's in the works. We're hosting that, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so if you're in it, great. Yeah, we uh, are in it. And you, I mean, I mean, we're in it with you. Okay, we're we're gonna be the guys talking. On Good, TV that's great. Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah, shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> this would be an opportunity for you to prove yourself as a shooter against Tyler Hawes and say Chase Fisher. Oh, you want me to shoot against them? Just me. I haven't talked to anyone official that actually this controls this. This is the this. first time we're even throwing it out there officially. So, I, what, so you need, you, what I need to do is practice. Then you're saying you don't practice. I don't. You, I don't you, You've I don't seen, shoot like I used to. I don't oh, shoot fifteen hundred oh. shots every day. I know, but you've you've said I'm the best shooter on campus. I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> and I still believe that. So you're telling me I'm going to have to I prove want a, myself, aren't I? I want a national TV exhibition. Okay, I, I think it's I, all talk until you're on the court. Coach. I think we better do it then. Okay, okay. I'll I will get myself. I got a week to get ready, and I'll I'll do it. <laughs> we need to talk to. He doesn't need days. fifteen shots a day. He needs a week. Yeah, it's. I'm not sure about fifteen hundred every day in college. Did you really fifteen hundred every day? Wow, Brock Zilster did like five hundred a day two I, summers I, ago. I would say Tyler's up there. I mean, when I go in the gym and Tyler's out there shooting by himself, and you know he put a lot of time into it, and that's that's what it takes. Yeah. It takes it takes effort. I mean, I, I went and watched the Jazz practice the other day, and you know. The great players are the ones that stay after and go before practice and spend time in their own game. The ones that – that's where the game's changed. I'm not mm-hmm. going to lie to you. It's where it's changed. People don't do that anymore. They don't they don't spend the time. Hmm. Like I was talking to a guy, Larry Bird, used to show up. The game is 7.30. He'd be in the arena at 3.30. Guys don't do that anymore. They show up right before the meeting. You know, it's about getting way, paid. It's, that's all it is. And it's not, it's not what it is to be great. You have to put the time in. That's what you have to do. So, yeah. Coach, I we, guess I better put the time in. We have no idea if anyone's actually going to allow this or not. I'm just, <laughs> just that would that would be so fun to watch. It'd be fun. Yeah. If, if, if not, but, we're going to have to do it in the Marriott Center. No, no yeah. cameras. No cam. No, we'll, let's, we'll let's have cameras. We've got pressure. Okay, look at this. See, embracing <laughs> it now. Gotta have, it. Gotta have pressure. Hashtag man. buckets. That's what you'd put in the <laughs> tweet. Hashtag, okay. hashtag, hashtag buckets. Hashtag buckets. Blessed. Okay. <laughs> Coach Keep Jeff Jeff is with us on BYU Sports Station. Great to talk to you, Coach. We wish you the yeah. best of luck in the approaching season. And uh, warm up the uh, the shot. Get the Twitter account going. We will I fully will. support that. Well, thank you. And thanks for all your support. It's uh, This is great being able to talk about BYU sports. And, you know, we're, 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 we're proud. We're proud of what we, we try to do and try to do the best job to try to make people excited about what's going on.